Welcome to Bright Sparks. Hello. I hope you're all okay. Right, so this week we're going to, and for weeks to come, we're going to be looking at the fruits of the spirit. Now I know this board will look back to front to you, but you can see on here there's different sorts of fruits. Um, it does say fruits of the spirit, but, it, but the, the writing's back to front because it's on this camera. And the one that we're going to be looking at today is love. So that's love spelled backwards. Okay, so I can't really do a lot about that because um, because it's a, it's a recording, but you'll you'll see what I mean. Right. So let's just pop that just to the side so you can see. And each week, I will put another we'll put another um, one of the uh, fruits of the spirits on. Uh, so I just put them on. So if we were in group. I'd be getting a volunteer to put one on, but because we're not, uh, we're having to do this on YouTube, we've, we've got a board instead. Okay, so let's start with the first song, which is, If You're Happy and You Know It. You ready? Get your shakers ready. If you're happy and you know it, shake your shaker. If you're happy and you know it, shake your shaker. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shake your shaker. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout we are. We are. If you're happy and you know it, shout we are. We are. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout we are. We are. Right, let's get the song back. And we'll get the animals to choose. Now, if, there, if you've got any of your favourites that we haven't done yet, and you'd like like us to sing it, get your grown up to send me a message, and then you, then we'll then um, we'll make sure that that one's chosen. Because I had a phone call yesterday from one of one of the little bright sparks children, and they asked specifically for a song. Uh, in fact, I think they asked for a couple of songs, so I don't mind you making suggestions, otherwise it's just a random selection. Okay, right, shall we get Daisy Duck to choose one? In we go, Daisy Duck. Oh, oh, I might have known you'd pick this one. Daisy Duck has picked one, two, three, four, five, once I caught a fish alive. You like fish, don't you? Yeah, Daisy Duck likes eating fish. So this is probably why she likes this song. Are we ready then? And get your fingers ready. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Right. Let's choose another one. Shall we have, let's have Ted choose one. Oh, in we go. Oh, Ted. You like that one, do you? I think this is one of the group's favourites as well. Oh look, there we are, the tractor song. So let's sit head back down. Have we got the colour sheet? Let's check. Here we are, got the colours. So we'll start with the red tractor. Bouncing along on a big red tractor, bouncing along on a big red tractor, bouncing along on a big red tractor, bringing in the hay. Hey! Right. Oopsie daisy. 
What colour are you going to choose? Um, oh, which one? Make your mind up. You like that one and that one. Right, well, you've got some pink on you, so we'll choose pink. See, Upsy Daisy's chosen the pink one. Okay. Bouncing along on a big pink tractor, bouncing along on a big pink tractor, bouncing along on a big pink tractor, ringing in the hay. Hey! Oh, giraffe. Oh, you like what? You like the colour that's similar to you? Well, which one would you like? Yellow or brown? You're going to go for oh, yellow. Let's choose the yellow. Bouncing along on a yellow tractor, bouncing along on a yellow tractor, bouncing along on a yellow tractor, bringing in the hay. Hey! Who's next? It's Mr. Fox. You like a brown one. Okay. Bouncing along on a big brown tractor, bouncing along on a big brown tractor, bouncing along on a big brown tractor, bringing in the hay. Hey! Right. Another colour. What haven't we had yet? Oh, sparkles. Can you see the sparkly one? There we are. You want to bounce as well? Bouncing along on a sparkly tractor, bouncing along on a sparkly tractor, bouncing along on a sparkly tractor, bringing in the hay. Hey! Some more colours? Oh. Shall we have, which one should we have? A blue one. Okay, blue. Bouncing along on a big blue tractor, bouncing along on a big blue tractor, bouncing along on a big blue tractor, bringing in the hay. Hey! I think we've had most of the colours. Oh, I quite like purple. Should we have a purple tractor? Bouncing along on a purple tractor, bouncing along on a purple tractor, bouncing along on a purple tractor, bringing in the hay. Hey! Right, let's do the next one. Now, this one I think was chosen specially by one of your little bright sparkers. Incy Wincy Spider. Incy Wincy Spider climbing up the spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Wincy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. We'll do that one again, I think. Incy Wincy Spider climbing up the spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Wincy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Fabulous. Ooh, who's going to choose one now? Oh, okay. Say hello. In we go. We've got one potato, two potato. Can you see that one? Ready? Get potatoes ready. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato more. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato more. Very good. We do some more songs. You haven't got fed with singing yet, have you? Should we do a couple more? Ooh, I think I'll choose this time. There we are. Mousy Brown. We've had a request for this one as well. So let's find Mousy Brown. Right, we'll put Grandma 
just on top of the candle because the candle's not lit so that's okay because we have to have grandma because grandma's in town isn't she so we'll put it just there i think you can see it just so let's get mousy brown get your candlestick ready i know we haven't got mousy browns with you so you just have to pretend and use your fingers now we're ready up the tall white candlestick crept little mousy brown but when he got to the top he found he couldn't get down so he shouted for his grandma 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 but grandma couldn't hear him because she was in town so he curled himself into a ball and rolled all the way down should we do that one again get your candlestick really tall it's a really big candlestick isn't it we're ready up the tall white candlestick crept little mousy brown but when he got to the top he found he couldn't get down so he shouted for his grandma can you shout really really loud see how, see how loud you can shout grandma grandma but grandma couldn't hear him because she was in town so he curled himself into a ball and rolled all the way down there we are right i think we'll just do one more song before we do the wiggle song let's see let's see if pat can remember the words because i keep forgetting these and i haven't got my crib sheet with me so you might have to help me with this one ready get down really small this is going to be a bit of a challenge as well because i can't i can't jump up otherwise you'll not see me right get down really small when all the cows are sleeping and the sun has gone to bed up jumped a scarecrow and this is what he said i'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat i can shake my hands like this I can shake my feet like that. When the dogs are in the kennel, pigeons in the loft, up jumped a scarecrow and whispered very soft. I'm a tingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this. I can shake my feet like that. What's the next one? What's the last one? When all the oh yes I know. When all the hens are roosting and the moon's behind the cloud, oh, jumped a scarecrow and shouted very loud. I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this. I can shake my feet like that. You can shake it out. That was a shaky song, wasn't it? And when we do the wiggle song, we're going to wiggle, every, wiggle everything out, aren't we? So let's move on to the wiggle song. Are you all ready? Right, I've just got to get set it going. Hey, Google. The Wiggle Song by Spring Harvest. Sure, The Wiggle Song by Spring Harvest. Playing on Google Play Music. Ready? Lots of shaking. Shake the head, go through to the knees, yes, you gotta, you gotta. 
of the spirit and this week is love so I've got a story called what color is love so shall we find out what color love is you all sitting comfortably you all sat ready for the story so let's have a look so we've got lots of colors in this book so there's the title what color is love So we talk, this story is about a little, little elephant who's going to ask the questions. So are we ready? What colour is love? A small, smooth and grey. Could it be green? Said old wrinkly grandad. I don't know if that's true, but grass is green, so love might be blue. Shall we see if it's blue? What colour is love? A small, smooth and grey. Could it be blue? Tiger turned over and rolled on his back. I can't tell you the answer, my little fellow. The sky is blue. Maybe love could be yellow. What colour is love? A small, smooth and grey. Could it be yellow? Lion opened an eye, too tired to play. He yawned. <gasps> and said, this hot sun is yellow. Isn't love red? Colour is love? A small, smooth and grey. Could it be red? Parrot looked down from his perch in the tree. Red is for flowers, but love is so bright. It's really quite sim simple. Love must be white. What colour is love? A small, smooth and grey. Could it be white? No, love isn't white, said Zebra. No, I think love is so wonderful, it must be pink. What colour is love? A small, smooth and grey. Could it be pink? Pink! screeched Flamingo. No, that can't be right. Love should be orange, like the sunset at night. The flamingo screeched at him. <gasps> Tired and exhausted at the end of the day. I know who to ask, said Small, Smooth and Grey. He left for Flamingo with his tall, slender legs and passed by Zebra on the old riverbed. Lion had gone from his rock in the sun and tiger hunting set off at a run. 
he went to the water and dipped in his toe. He said to his mother, does nobody know? I've tried all the colours from the grass to the flowers, from the sky to the clouds, to the sun up above. But no one could tell me the colour of love. What colour is love? I'll tell you a little one. It's as dark as the night and as bright as the sun. Imagine a colour and love is right there. Love is every colour, everything, everywhere. What colour is love? Every colour, all around, because nothing else matters when it's love that you found. The baby, little elephant, mummy elephant. There we are. Lots and lots of colours, just like a squiggly rainbow. And that's the end of the story. Right, so when we're in bright sparks normally, after we've done a story, we usually do a craft. Like I mentioned before, it's not always possible to do a craft, is it, because of all the different things that we use. But I thought, because we were doing love, with this pesky virus that we've got around, I thought it'd be lovely to, to do some craft with about love. And then you can perhaps pass, pass those, pass the, uh, the things that are things on to, your, um, to others. Or, well, let me give you the ideas first, and then I'll give you the idea of what I think you could do with them. If you've got some red card or some red foam, um, perhaps you could get a grown-up to cut you a heart shape out of some card and then you can find some bits and pieces to stick on there. I had a quick look around my house and found some, I've got sparkly stickers there and then I, another one I did, I went mad with the glitter because I like glitter. But it depends on what you've got and if you've not got any red card or, or red foam, just get a piece of paper get your grown-up, I hope you can see that, I just draw freehand and then you could get your crayons or your felt pens and you could colour in there and maybe you could put some little some words in there perhaps like I love you or something whatever you want and then what you could do is if you didn't have a piece of paper you could perhaps stick it in your window for people to see as they go past or if you've done one of these shapes you can either pop it in the post or even better, get your grown up to take a photo of it and then either by messenger or WhatsApp, send it to grandma or nana, or whatever you call her, or granddad pops or your cousin uh, or, 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 or even to some of your little friends. And what, so what I'd like you to do is if you, is if you want to, Get your grown up, take a photo, put it on our on our um, Bright Sports group, so we can all we can all see these 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 hearts. So I'm sending oodles and oodles of love to you all. And we have two hearts there that I've made that I wanted to wanted to share with you. Okay, so that's the craft. So now, doing what sort of day are we having? So I'll start off. And I think instead of having a busy day, so I'm going to have a making day because I'm doing lots of things, I'm doing lots of making, doing sticking and sewing. Um, so I'm going to start with a making day. Are we ready? Pat is having a making day, a making day, a making day. Pat is having a making day and she is special to God. All right, now you think of what sort of day you're having. I know some of you will be having a candle day and some of you will be having a happy day. So we'll, uh, we'll sing, I'll, I'll let you give you space to sing it, okay? And they are special to God. Okay. Right, so now we come to the time to light the candles. So I'll just move all the other things off there. 
And let's have a think about what we're going to pray for. And again, if there's anything special that you want to pray for, please get your grown-ups to send me a message and we'll add it in for next week. Because I know we'll still be here next week on video rather than in person. So there we are. I've got a candle. So I'll keep it just simple and straightforward and just say, Thank you, God, for all the Bright Sparks children. And thank you for the grown ups who are looking after them while we've got this pesky virus. And I pray that it won't be too long before we can meet again. And I pray that you'll just look after all of us and hope that you and pray that you keep us safe. And I know some of the some mums and dads working work in the front line, um, working in hospitals and work at other key workers and the childcare workers and the bus drivers and all and the, uh, the supermarkets. So I just pray that you will keep them safe as they're at work looking after all of us. Amen. Should we do their big amen? Should we let me just put the candle down? Are we ready? Amen. Woo! Wasn't that good? Right, so let's blow the candle out. Are we ready? Let's see if I can if we can all manage to blow it out first time this time. Are we ready? One, two, three. We go waff waff waff, don't we? Right, that's the candle blown. And that's the end of the video, Bright Sparks. So I think it's time, if, if you want to, that you can go and have your snack and you can go and go and play and I'll be back here same time next week. Bye!